Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Liz Hines joins us now from the Reading Center of Central Louisiana. Liz, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Of course. Well, tell us about the Learning Center of Sin Law. This is somewhat new to the area, and I'm very interested as a mom of a soon-to-be first grader. Yeah, so um, the Learning Center of Sin Law really helps kids who struggle in math, reading, writing, processing, anything that help or keeps kids from reaching their full potential in a classroom, at home, um, with executive functioning and anything like that. So how do y'all approach this issue and when do people know to get you involved? So a lot of kids, um, I think a lot of the um, the thing is that people think it's an IQ issue, and it's not an IQ issue. Um, kids who struggle in school, mostly it's not an IQ issue at all. Um, it's how they process and how they learn. So if a child is struggling in school, um, hours of homework at night, they're, you don't think they're doing well, you know they're really smart, but it's not showing, um, that's when people normally call us. Okay, and so tell me about the program that y'all use. Is there like a several week program or is it just a case by case basis? Um, we are, our staff is trained under Dr. Erica Warren out of New York um, and then we have certified teachers and also ACT 108 compliant, um, which is state law now for literacy. Um, we also do our own training with our teachers um, on dyscalculia, dyslexia, dysgraphia. Um, so they're well trained whenever they go into the child's to work with the child. Um, it's either one-on-one -on -one or one-to-three. That's kind of the group size. So it's a very small size and it's indiv individualized to each child. Wow, and so you are telling me uh, before the, uh, the show that you know, it's an option for some students for y'all to go into their school. Correct. Okay, tell me more about that. So we just actually got um, a grant called the Steve Carter Literacy Grant. So any child who is in the state of Louisiana from kindergarten to fifth grade can get a voucher to either come to the clinic, do virtually, or if the school allows, we can go into the schools and see them after school. Um, on, for example, like Grant Parish is out on Mondays next year. So we're partnering with B22 and we'll be seeing kids out in Grant Parish on Mondays um, for their Monday program. And then actually we'll be there tomorrow to sign up any kids in Grant Parish who wanna sign up. Um, if we have clients who are in the private schools, depending on the administration, we're able to go into the schools and see them during the day or after school. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. And so if a parent is, you know, curious and wants to maybe see if this would be a good fit for their child, uh, what's the process like? So the process is um, if you go to our website, www.tlcsinlaw.com, there's a link. Also on the Department of Education website, there's a QR code where the parent just scans it. Um, they'll fill out the application and then they'll call our office to schedule testing and then we can see them from one to four days a week depending on what the parent chooses. Oh wow, okay. Well, um, when you were talking about the different uh, conditions or diagnosis, um, I caught one of the three that you mentioned, mm -hmm. dyslexia, but what were the other two and, and what is that? Uh, well, dyslexia, dyscalculia, dysgraphia, they're all considered learning disabilities, specific learning disabilities. Um, and one's with reading, one's with math. Um, dysgraphia is more of a writing or a written expression. Um, we've never seen that one stand alone. And a lot of kids who come to us aren't necessarily dyslexic or dyscalculic. They just struggle in an area um, with memory, short-term, long-term memory, being able to complete tasks. Um, and so we do a lot of executive functioning training, working memory training, um, to get their processing speeds up so they can learn better. That's fantastic. Well, remind us again how people can get in contact with y'all. You can go to www.tlcsinlaw.com. Um, you can also go to the state the State Department of Education um, for the Steve Carter. I sent you a QR code that you can put on the website that they can just scan um, and then give us a call and we'll schedule. Fantastic. Well, Liz, thanks so much for Thank coming you. on the show, telling us all about this great program. Sounds like something very worthy here in Central Louisiana. Thank you. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Law right after this break.